G'day guys, out chasing feral goats again today. I've had a trail camera on this place and it's been sending me some regular footage saying the goats have been pretty active here. I've been out twice in the last month, haven't been able to cross paths with them. Hopefully that changes today. So I'm going to drive up the top of this hill and have a look and see if there's any sign. As you can see it's pretty damn rough. All this weed rips the shit out of the car. I get asked pretty often why I don't trap the goats on this place. They're worth so much money. The biggest problem is, is access. Um, it's four wheel drive access only. The goats aren't here very often and it's pretty hard to put a system in place with temporary fencing and have a dog team on standby and, and just the right people to help you do the job. With COVID and everything at the moment, the um, the sale yards, or our local sale yards are closed. I'm not allowed to bring anyone else out here, so unfortunately, it doesn't stop the goats from coming on here. And part of my contract is to remove all the ferals. So trapping them would be a, a really good way to go. I'm much better off financially for everyone involved, but um, at the moment, I've just got to resort to shooting them take whatever meat I can and um, sort of go from there, I suppose. A few roos up the top there. They're not very worried about me. Just hope the goats are just as quiet. Anyhow, I'll pull up just up here and have a look and see if there's any sign, anything fresh. And then probably send the drone up if I can't see them anyway. So, there's a bit of sign here, which is good. A bit of goat poo. All there and there. Looks like it's a couple of days old. Definitely wasn't here the last time I came up here. So it looks like they're back, just whether or not they're still here. So this is the best vantage point for the property. Down on that flat section down there, that's a neighbour's place. I don't have access in there. So it's a matter of just crossing paths with them when they're on here. Plan will be, I think, send the drone up and do a run around and see if we can locate them and go from there. Well, I've got the 308, grab the tripod and start the walk in. The goats are down, sort of past that big tree over the edge of the drop off. There's a bit of a gully system that runs through there, it's quite steep. So I think I'll walk along that track, the wind's in my face, and see if I can cut in and pull up above them. It should give me a pretty safe shooting angle. Anyhow, let's see how we go. So I'm just walking along the edge of this ridge. I haven't heard any yet. About 300 metres in front of where the car was. There's um, a whole heap of timber here. And I'm hoping that they'll be just over this bluff just in front of me. Anyhow, can't smell them yet either. They shouldn't be far away. Oh, well, that was a hell of a stalk. I feel like a bloody mountain gap myself. So, 
Not a bad set on him. Both ends actually. <laughs> Anyhow, the rest of them just popped up over this hill. I've gone up the top and had a quick look and just ducked in the cover again. The cover's just shit. So, as you can see, that's all the stuff I just had to fight through to come down the hill. And uh, the wind wasn't very good. I'm carrying two tripods so I can try and film. But anyhow. Well, that was a bit of fun. I am um, getting a few out of that mob. But they took off. Oh, out of breath. And um, I headed back down this, this side gully. I'm pretty sure they're going to work their way up to the top here. But um, I think I've got about 10 15 minutes of battery left in the drone. So I might send it up and see if I can find out where they bug it off to. <laughs> just found the goats again there's about 15 or 20 that are splintered off the main mob they're just down below me here I sent the drone down tried to push them back up to this open area but in typical fashion we ended up with a flat battery so the drone came home um, I've thrown some subsonics in the magazine so plan is I'll just walk through this spiky shit it's not going to be much fun but uh, try and get in really close to them and see if I can take a couple more out of the equation with the subsonics yeah. Another nice billy. Beautiful coat on this fella. Really nice colour. Doesn't even stink that much. Pretty good set of horns. Good for around here anyway. I didn't really like the 190 grain subsonic to the back of the melon. Dropped him on the spot at about 20 metres. Pretty good result. I'll be back here in the next couple of days. Obviously you can see by this area all trampled down that they've been frequenting here quite a bit. Just a matter of crossing paths with them again and yeah multiple shooters would probably get a better result unfortunately with COVID and that at the moment i've got to do this on my own anyhow thanks for watching uh, i appreciate your support if you could uh, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel and i look forward to seeing you again next time